let's talk raising capital because this doesn't sound cheap. Not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> How did you go? You have experience, obviously, from flat out heels. Yes. Is it the same process? Because somebody's sitting home right now, they have an ingenious idea. Maybe they even have a prototype. Yes. But they know in order for me to scale, I have to raise money. Yes. What did it look like for you to raise, let's call it the first round for the pop shop? Yeah. Did you go out to Silicon Valley? Are you, uh, you know, are you going tradition? Because we all watch Shark Tank. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we think of traditional, uh, I don't know, um, venture capitalists, yes. uh, angel investors. Was that your first start? Yeah. Because I know eventually you segue into crowdfunding, but I want to get there. But let's start. Where did you start at? And, and what is needed? What does somebody need to step in front of an angel investor or a venture capitalist? Like, what is that process even look like? So good question again. And remember, I was already kind of there because I got in front of the angel investors for flat out. So I raised 250 from those people and they understood my vision for vending machines. And I already had executed on those first five. So the first people that I went to for money was them because they already understood it and they already invested in flat out. And I'm like, I need more money so that I can make the vision for flat out um, see it through with the vending machines. But instead of taking um, more money for flat out and really exhausting our resources as a shoe company trying to build vending machines, I'm going to start a separate company that their focus is vending and technology and will work together. And so one of my flat out investors, he actually invested $90,000. He was my first check in to Popcom. And that helped me to get the prototypes, started the renderings, build the business out. And that money actually lasted me like four years because I didn't burn it all through it. I was trying to figure it out. You know, I was just using that to build the business until 2017. I knew I needed, I knew I knew what I wanted to do, but I needed significant capital. So yes, venture capital was the next step once I had the business model figured out and understood how I was going to get to market and go to market strategy and all these things. Because Venture capital is not like angel investors. They're not like, oh, I like you. Can you explain the difference for the yeah. audience? Yeah. They're not like, oh, I like you. I believe in you. They're in the business of making money. Angel investors will invest because they, they believe in you. They want to they want to get a return, of course, but they're an angel. That is a nice phrase. They, they, they're helping. VCs, venture capitalists, they raise money from limited partners, from other people who have a lot of money, and they put it into a fund. And that fund allocates investments on behalf of the greater group of investors. And that, that VC has to go out and take all this money and invest it well, because that's how they make money. That's how they live their life. That's how they get returns, is by making good investments on behalf of these other people. So they're in the business of making money. That's why they call it Shark Tank. The deals are sharky. The terms are sharky. I'll call it the 360 deal of entrepreneurship yep. because they're in the business of making money, not helping you. Not, they're they're going to help themselves first. So in order to get better terms on that money, you have to have a lot of things figured out. Tr traction and sales is important if you have that because it gives you a, a, an advantage. You're not like asking for money for an idea. In my case, I, I had more than an idea. I had some traction from the vending machines, but I hadn't built the technology yet. So that money, that first money in was expensive. I had to give up, you know, a nice amount in the beginning. I still retain over 80% of my ownership. Now I have like 45 after all these rounds. Are, are, are we talking, are we talking Popcom, the software side, the, the vending side, or the shoe side? So Flat Out Appeals is a separate business. Yep. Popcom is the vending, you know, software. So yep. So Popcom has one hardware we invented called the Pop Shop. I have a patent on that. Mm -hmm. And then we have our software and our technology. And so that's why I said, okay, I'm going to raise money from VCs for the software side because they understand this. They don't really get the shoe side. They weren't into that. I, I went to Techstars, which is a program for, um, it's like the Harvard of, you know, Ivy League of, of tech programs. And it's very competitive and hard to get into. 
And I got into that program and I graduated. When I graduated, that's when I was able to raise my first million dollars. How, how, how long is that program? It's three months and you live there and you're in there every day. It's very intense. You're probably in there 10 hours a day, five days a week. And on the weekends, you have assignments and things to do. How, how, how large is it? How many people are in there? Um, they do 10 companies per class. So it's a global, it's global now. So there's probably at this point, a couple of thousand tech stars companies. There's some thousands now. Is it, is it very difficult to get into these programs? Very competitive. It's very difficult to get into. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. But that was what helped me to get the network of venture capital. Remember, I have an angel investor network. I have a supporter net, you know, base for my other companies, but I did not have that venture capital million dollar check writer relationship. I didn't have the half a million dollar check writer relationship. I had like 10, 20, thousand my biggest check was ninety thousand at this point mm -hmm. what year are we talking now okay 2017 when i raised the first million for popcorn okay but the first million you raised for popcorn and, and again i just want to make sure i understand the the timeline and i want to understand how you raise this money yes this money for the first million that didn't come vc it didn't come angel did that come crowdfunding no, oh, that came from VC. That, that and, came, so your million came from a VC? Yes, I was one of the first, I believe I was like the 28th black woman in history to raise over a million dollars from venture capital. So it was Congratulations. a handful of us that even reached that million dollar mark back then. Now there's a lot more, but it was very early days and it was from venture capital. But seeing that in all the statistics that say black women raise 0.2% of venture capital, you know, those are discouraging statistics. And I obviously passed that. The average um, raise for a black woman is $36,000 and I raised a million. So again, breaking down those barriers, but the experience was off. You know, I did, I had a lot of experiences that I just, I didn't like it, you know, this just culturally off. You know, I was in meetings with all white men. They would comment like, your hair is different every time I see you. Or, <laughs> it's just like cultural things. Like if you look at my Instagram, my hair is different every damn week. So they would comment. I mean, they just, it just was like the disconnect. I'm just cringing. Like, I don't want to deal with y'all. Like, I don't want to deal with this shit. And that's when I said, I'm going to do something different for our next round, which was crowdfunding. Got you. Understood. Uh, just because you mentioned this earlier, but you, you kind of uh, moved past it. How much of your company did you have to give up? So in the beginning... It was these accelerator programs, they typically take six to 8% of your company at that current valuation mm -hmm. for $125,000. That's a lot, but it's also saying your company's worth close to a million dollars. Yeah. So it's giving you a valuation that's pretty high for a new company. And that's what they do. They kind of validate you. So it is expensive in the beginning, but you know, if you can get um, into a deal that they can be diluted down as you grow and they don't keep that 8% and hold it as you are worth way more, it's it's okay. But you also have to, have to like factor, you understand this, it's like sometimes you do have to give up something to get what you need. Absolutely. A good partner, if it's worth it, if they're going to help you grow. And for the most part, my investors did earn, you know, the equity that they do have. And the ones that did it, I bought them out in 2020 because I was tired of their shit. <laughs> okay. so, so that leads me to another question. Besides money, what were you looking for from your investors? Like for somebody out there who is right now looking to raise money, again, we all watch Shark Tank. You, you don't go into the tank right. just looking for a they black don't. tech. You're right. looking to partner with somebody that can bring something to the table. So for you... When you raised your first million with the, with your VC, what were you looking for? What did they bring to the table besides yeah. that check? More, more checks, more investors, helping me to really get more customers, making connections for me to, to get into their networks to grow my business through customers, and then just guidance. I needed to build my team. I didn't have a co-founder. It was me. I didn't have a team. Like Looking back, I'm shocked that they, I got the money. Because really? God's plan. Because I didn't have a team. I didn't have a product. I didn't come from Stanford. I didn't come from Silicon Valley. You know, I, I made it work. So I needed their help to 
learn how to be a technology CEO of a billion dollar tech company because that's where I wanted to go. And I had to get mentors and get groomed. And I, I needed my investors to do that for me and, and help guide me and build my team and build my board of directors, which that's what they, they did. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.